Uh, to Maria, I'm Cherie Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Sensitive patient files and high-level data stolen in a cyber attack have been posted to the dark web by a ransomware group with Russian links. Primary health provider Pinnacle Midlands Health Network, which operates dozens of North Island GP practices, was hit last week. Sources have told our newsroom ALPHV, also known as Black Cat, has published a number of files from a clinic in the Pinnacle Group. Wayne Brown is promising to get straight to business as Auckland Mayor this morning. He cancelled his media appearances yesterday, opting instead to spend time with family. Brown has asked to meet with council officers this morning to get a full briefing on the finances, economic forecasts, liabilities and other risks of the council and council-controlled organisations. He's told them he'll be at the council offices at 8am sharp. First thing we'll be doing is actually confirming what those numbers are and they'll have a team to go in and exactly find those things out. Meanwhile, voter turnout is down around the country. Nationwide turnout is about 36%, but this may increase by 2 or 3% once Saturday and special votes are counted. Voting rates were particularly low across all of South Auckland, with less than one in five eligible voters in Altara having their say. Local government New Zealand says the situation can't be allowed to continue. An investigation is underway this morning following an incident in Wattle Downs. Police responded to reports of a disorder incident. A black SUV with its doors opened was covered with a blue tarp and surrounding streets were closed. Specialist staff, including detectives, police photography section and frontline staff were in attendance. A neighbour nearby told the Herald they heard a woman screaming and the car revving. And relief among the hospitality sector over changes to chef recruitment rules. Following concerns from the industry, the government's removing the qualification requirement for chefs being hired through an accredited employer work visa. The tourism and hospitality medium wage exemption has also been extended for another year. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.